Welcome back, student. As you can see, that we're continuing with finding the area. And this time, we're finding the area of a circle. Remember, you can subscribe for more videos. Let's get right into it. Here we have a circle with the radius of 2. And the formula to find the area of a circle, area equal pi times r squared. So usually for PSC, they will usually use pi as 3.14 or 22 over 7 but the problem is always specific they will always ask you or inform you of which one to use so we're going to solve this problem using pi as both of them as 3.14 and 22 over 7 so here is a pi sign and remember this pi represents 3.14 or 22 over 7 and we're finding the area of this circle with a radius of 2. So the good thing that we know that there is a... F so in order for us to solve this problem, we need to follow the formula. So area equal, remember pi is either 3.14 or 22 over 7. So we'll start with pi as 3.14. Then times your radius square which is 2 so that's 2 square so you have seen what we did we convert each of these into numbers so pi will always represent 3.14 or 22 over 7 in this case I'm using pi as 3.14 then times from the formula and r square r square is your number here so 2 and that's 2 square. So we continue with the formula area equal 3.14 times 2 square. Remember 2 square is 2 times 2 which is equal to 4. So area equal 3.14 times 4. And all we have to do now is our final step is to multiply 3.14 times 4 and that will give us our answer for this problem so our answer area equal 12.56 inches square let's solve the problem using the 22 over 7 so we know that the circle the radius is 2 inches and so we're going to convert the formula into numbers so area equal pi we did it earlier with 3.14 now we're going to make pi 22 over 7 then we bring down your times then the radius which is 2 times 2 square can remember from the formula the radius is square so we have to square it then we continue so area equal 22 over 7 times 2 square. And remember 2 square is simply 2 times 2, which will equal to 4. So we bring down our 22 over 7 times the 2 square, which is 4. And usually you will see if you could cancel the 7 into, an, into this number. But here we can't. So what we need to do is to multiply 22 times 4 and you divide it by your 7. And that's how we'll get our answer. And if we multiply, we know that 2 times 4, 2 times 4 is 8, and 2 times 4 is 8. So how do we get this 88? Because 22 times 4 equals to 88 over 7. So we need to divide 88 into 7, and we're going to get our answer. So let's do that. So 7 could go into 8. 1 times one time 7 is 7. When we minus, you get 1. 7 cannot go into 1, so you bring down your 8. 7 could go into 18 2 times. And 2 times 7 is 14. When you minus 18 from 14, you get 4. 7 cannot go into 4, and we use up all our number. So the rule is you add your decimal. Then after adding your decimal, you'll place a 0 by the 4. So now you have 40. 
And seven could go into 40 five times. And seven times five, 35. And when you minus 40 from 35, you will left with five. Remember I said earlier that you stop at two decimal places? So you will not add decimal two times, one time, but you will add another zero. All right, so seven. Seven could go into 50 seven times. And seven times seven is 49. And when you minus 50 from 49, we're left with one. We could stop there. We could add another zero and continue and have the answer go on and on and on. It will give you 12.57 and it will give you more numbers at the end. But usually in any problem like this, even when you're solving a problem or dividing with money, you always stop at two decimal places. So the area of this problem equals to 12.57 inches square. And we do that. And our problem is solved. And remember when using pi as 3.14 at 22 over 7, your answer should basically be close to the same. Maybe your 0.57 would be one less or so or two less, but nothing that much. It will be basically the same answer. I trust that you have learned something from the lesson. Share with a friend. Subscribe for more. Much more videos coming up soon.